Kalui Gauteng Human Settlements Department officials say residents in Everton West were warned against building homes illegally in the, er in the area. You heard from Malunga Loboy earlier. These are visuals from what was happening throughout the day. Several houses uh, being demolished there for being built on privately owned land. We're joined by the Gauteng Human Settlement Department's Fred Mugogo. Fred, good evening to you. Thanks for your time. Look, you know, communities are in this position. They say the intermediary that is helping them is somebody who claims to be an official of the department and is mandated by the department to work with communities in as far as land allocations are, are concerned. Well, firstly, if uh, it is any land allocation that is uh, attached to the department or aligned to the department, we would know who is dealing with it, where is it sitting, at which office, uh, and what is it that is doing. But you would remember that from uh, 2019, we intensified the campaign to deal with uh, um, unlawful occupation of land, unlawful occupation of RTP houses, some of whom were invaded before they are completed. So part of the problem that we have is that there is a lot of illegality, and everybody who um, um, is connected to this illegality purports to be working with a person from the state. Now, the first thing that we all know is that when you buy a house, uh, you don't have to do it in a flimsy corner. The house is registered with the municipality. The house that you are buying will be registered with the bank. If it is a development, the development will be linked with the bank and the development will be known by the municipality as well as the provincial government if it's, it belongs to the provincial government. There are also private developments. Uh, so private uh, people or banks will source land in order to pursue private developments of houses. Now, since there has been invasion of land and invasion of uh, unoccupied lands that is aimed uh, at uh, development, People have been uh, going around claiming that the government is selling land. And if government is selling land, they would have been advertising where we are selling land, who is the contact person. And the contact people do not only work with their cell phones, they also work with landlines. There will be a stationed office that people can walk into. Uh, and there are many government offices where you can even get referrals or a person can call to check if there's another person on the other line. So, where you don't find those things, uh, you are told that land is 5,000 rands or 16,000 rands. You should have questions of your own. But um, wait, are, you, are you not, as the department, taking it for granted that people may not understand these processes, at least to, to the detail um, that you are describing to us tonight? Well, uh, I can tell you that the people of South Africa are very, very intelligent. Um, you can take them for granted at your own peril. Some of the people have had us speaking over and over and over. Even where uh, MC Maile went on television, on radio, uh, cautioning people not to occupy a uh, land illegally or buy land illegally. And so, so we're not going to blame people but we are also not going to deny the fact that we've come out on many occasions intensively so. But when uh, the COVID pandemic took uh, center stage, many people started hiding behind the pandemic because they knew that we could not go and evict them. We, we withdrew the part where we were evicting people as the state. And even many private sector uh, players uh, did not go and evict people. But now that uh, the disaster management uh, rules have been uh, relaxed, it's important that uh, people must uh, still know that where they occupy land illegally, unfortunately, they will be evicted. And any eviction that takes place, there is a court order. Um, so you can't necessarily violate Section 26 of the Constitution. You should have a court order when you go and evict. What happens now? Because, you know, some of the houses we're seeing, people have spent, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands on, on building these houses. 
Is the department finding alternative homes for them to move to? You know, uh, fortunately, some of the court orders that we also have as a department, there's somewhere where it states that you should not find them alternative accommodation. Okay. Because once we state the case in the court of law and we show uh, evidence of how we have been pursuing uh, the peaceful part where we caution people not to invade or to move away from the land before we can take them to court. Some of the people have actually gone to that land and occupied without any uh, right of ingress and any authorization. So when the law takes its course, um, then people do as if the government is obligated to looking for alternative accommodation, but it depends on the view of the court. There are court orders that we know that say, no, you actually are not obligated to provide in the middle of all the And, and what does it say in this instance, Fred? Well, it's not our court order. It belongs to the private uh, owner of the land. The private owner of the land uh, took the matter to court. And of course, um, the court order would have uh, permitted the private owner to remove any uh, land and property. And by the way, we also have a court order about the same area, the Valley Hills. Okay. And that court order does say that where we go and demolish, we must not even provide alternative accommodation. All right. So I guess the call then is for people to be a lot more diligent when engaging in these processes, not take anything for granted. They shouldn't do that. And where government has cautioned that don't do it, actually do not do it. Don't test. All right. Fred Mokoko, the Gauteng Human Settlements Department uh, spokesperson there.